so there's a new season of Black Mirror out, and I'm really not in the mood to watch it because, come on, I just lived through 12 whole months of 2017. I've had enough bleakness and despair for a little while. And look, I know some people hate it when I even vaguely reference anything political, but honestly, if you can look at the past year and say, yeah, things went really well, then I just genuinely do not understand you. I saw a tweet a couple days ago mentioning that that video of the guy Skyping into the news while his little kids run into the background went viral back in March. And until then, I totally thought that that was like two years old by now. 2017 was a really, really long year. I turned 30 a few months ago. I already feel 36. So yeah, it was a pretty bleak and shitty year for the world, for the US. But to get solipsistic for a moment, because after all, this channel is named after me, I had a pretty okay year. Well, let's back up a bit. There was a lot of great stuff in 2017 that, even if ever so briefly, took our minds off the serious shit going on. A ton of great movies, great TV, comics, some music, books that I hear are good but haven't actually read, and just random other things that ruled. So here, not really in any specific order, are my 50 favorite things from 2017. John Wick Chapter 2, the final scene of Split, Master of None, the Nick Kroll John Mulaney opening monologue at the Independent Spirit Awards, Doom Patrol, Richard Spencer getting punched in the face, Big Little Lies, Your Name, God Country, Batman Mask of the Phantasm finally coming to Blu-ray, Get Out, the entire year that Caleb Landry Jones had, The Papyrus Short from SNL, Lego Batman, Mouth Moods by Neil Ciceriga, Blank Check with Griffin and David, Cut to the Feeling, the Everything Wrong with Cinema Sins series by Bob Vince, Alien Covenant, Okja, The Big Sick, Baby Driver, Paper Girls, and Saga, Lindsay Ellis' video series The Whole Plate, the trailer for Atomic Blonde, at San Diego Comic Con, the Blade Runner Party, and the party where Josie and the Pussycats from Riverdale performed. Getting the plush goose from Saga for my sister. Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Dunkirk. Mr. Miracle and Batman. Melodrama by Lord. Riverdale. A Cure for Wellness. Liam Gallagher's publicity tour and also seeing him live. The Leftovers. The Aronofsky Scarves Twitter account. Blade Runner 2049. The Florida Project. All the shockingly good comic book movies. American Vandal. The Good Place. Coco. Call Me By Your Name. Star Wars Episode 8: The Last Jedi. The Disaster Artist. Lady Bird. The Shape of Water. Water. The Nathan For You season finale, Finding Francis. This new apartment. And of course, you guys, the audience, who keep watching these videos. So that brings me back to this. This happened. I mean, yeah, the play button is cool, but uh, what it represents is cooler. See, a little over a year ago, I was five years into this YouTube endeavor with a pretty small audience that was barely growing at all, and I was literally losing money making the videos. And now, as we enter 2018, the audience has grown a lot. And in the past year, YouTube has become my full-time job. Like, my creative work has become the way I make a living, which is bonkers. A ton of people watch these videos, and the audience that's grown around this channel is enthusiastic and supportive and inquisitive and open-minded and really healthy, which is not always the case on YouTube. Seriously, you guys make me want to make better videos. You make me want to be a better man. Over the course of 2017, at Comic-Con and various other places, I actually met a bunch of you, and every time I had the same thought. I think I genuinely like this person, and these are the kinds of people that I want watching these videos. And another thing that was great was that, thanks to the videos, I made a bunch of new friends. Other YouTubers, filmmakers, film critics, people whose work I was already a fan of are now people I know personally. And that rules. But is that enough? Am I happy with that? No, I'm not! I want more! For me, most of 2017 was spent trying to make sure this YouTube thing actually had longevity, that I could keep it going and actually make a living off of it. At the beginning of 2017, a bunch of stuff in my life was kind of in disarray, and during the year I got my shit sorted and my life organized, and so now that that's done, what's the plan for 2018? <laughs> Thank you.
the key thing for me is making sure the channel continues to strike the right balance between doing filmmaking, analyzing filmmaking, and talking about filmmaking. So tell me what you'd like to see, how you'd like to see this grow and evolve. I'm not taking video requests, but I want to know what you think. And let's see how big we can get this. Also, merch coming soon. <laughs>